you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. And today, we get the top 10 most overpowered players in the game list. Now, I tweaked this list a lot since the last time you guys saw it. Not exactly like all new players, but I moved around rankings and I did put in, let's say I put one, two, three, four, I think I put five new players in there and I rearranged some orders. So obviously I play this game a lot and as I play Weekend League and a lot of other things, I progressively get more annoyed by certain people with certain cards. So that's kind of how I know who's overpowered. Quite a few that I see and one, some that I even have on my team that specifically, I said that weird, for me are very overpowered. I also dropped the best budget today, so I kind of like to coincide those videos. So budget for the people who are doing budget teams and obviously overpowered people will have all the coins in the world and our money spent. So I got both coming out today. The budget should be up already. So go check that out after this video if you haven't already. And then obviously you got this one. Now, this is a pretty good list. I really like it. I own a majority of these players. I do love them. The ones I don't own are the players that I'm waiting on and I'll, I'll, get, to, I'll get to all that in a second. But if you guys haven't already, go down below, smack the sub button, boys. We're drowning out to 10k. We're currently at like 7.4k, almost 7.5. I really appreciate all the support as of late. And if you guys haven't also, turn on the noti bell. Go down below, smack the like button, and let's get this video to 250 likes. That'd be greatly appreciated. Like I always say, the best way to show support on anyone's channel is just like the video. So if you're loyal and you watch, drop a like. Now guys, get into the video. So number 10, I actually do have on my team. I really love him. He wasn't in the top 10 at first because I had another guy there. But I did knock that guy out and put him back in because this guy, he's too good. He's too good not to have in the top 10. I'm blanking trying to speak to you guys. I didn't even go to it. So going down, Stephon Gilmore, number 10. In my opinion, he's the second best cornerback in the game. Minus limited times. I don't count limited times. Second best cornerback in the game. And he comes with built-in abilities. Now, I love him because I have him nat, but he makes so many plays. He always gets shut down activated. He gets so many picks from me, clamps up so many people. He's only second to one other cornerback, which I'll get to later in the video. That guy comes in around seven, but he's very, very awesome. Now, another guy that I really love. It's gonna I don't, I don't want to say this because it's a lineman, so I know it's hard to say he's overpowered, but trust me, I run the ball a lot, and I can feel the difference this guy makes in the center on inside zone. Bruce Matthews with, my, with Larry Allen in the middle, beautiful. Bruce Matthews with these stats right here. If you chem him up and power him up, I'd say he kind of breaks the threshold for almost all blocking stats if you power him up and chem him up properly. This card's insane. I love running inside this year. I love running inside and bouncing it back out. So the perfect way is to run inside zone. And that is what Bruce Matthews does for me. He's an overpowered lineman. Obviously, people don't think linemen mean much, but I definitely notice it for run blocking. Pass blocking can be iffy sometimes, but run blocking, I notice the difference when it comes to better linemen especially with better impact blocking, better run blocking. I really noticed all that. Now, next on the list is a wide receiver. He has made it on this list every week since the game has, uh, since I made this video, actually, since this type of video. He is on there specifically, because as you guys can know, as you guys know already, I have a slight attraction to Mutt Superstars. I really do. I love those cards, because they come with pre-built abilities. So, coming on down to Odell Beckham Jr., as per usual, 87 speed, 89 jumping, 87 catching, 82 catching traffic, 89 spec catch. 86 short route running, 85 medium route running, and 84 deep route. So he's pretty much, like I always say, he is a sticky hand version of Tyree Kill, but that's even more physically gifted. Tyree Kill is just athletic. Odell can jump, make crazy catches. He can do it all at wide receiver. And he comes with rack him up, streak specialist, double move elite, and cross specialist. Those abilities alone would cost probably like 100K worth of training. So you couple that with the fact that you got one of the best receivers in the game. I love this Odell. The only reason I don't have it yet is to have Nat Torrey Holt, Nat DeAndre Hopkins, and Tyree Kill. So, like, it would just be dumb and coin inefficient for me to do something like that. Now, next in this list, the other cornerback that I think is better than Stephon Gilmore. Not by much, but stat-wise, I gotta call him better, although I don't really want to. His name is Willie Brown. Now, the only reason I don't have Willie Brown is because I'm, I'm anticipating a Deion Sanders has to come out in the near future, right? I think he has to, so I'm waiting for Deion because that's what I'll shell out on my coins for. But if you compare them... Willie Brown is faster, has better jumping and better zone. Now, obviously, Stephon Gilmore looks better by the greens, but if you really look at it closely, Stephon Gilmore can't get the zone threshold, and he can only get the man and play rec. Willie Brown with lockdown can get the man threshold, the zone threshold, the press threshold, the play rec threshold, and he's faster and can jump higher. Stephon Gilmore's lockdown man, but Gil Willie Brown could do it all. I love this Willie Brown personally. 
Now next on this list is the guy that just actually came out and I really like this card. As soon as he gets cheaper, I'm gonna buy him. Alan Page. Judge, just, just understand what you're looking at when this is a defensive tackle. 78 speed with 83 excel for defensive tackle. That's awesome. Look, look this is defensive tackles around here. 50 speed, 64 excel, 64 speed, 87, 80, 78 excel. He's really athletic for a defensive tackle, first off. Then he's six foot four. His strength is right up there. Now his tackling is an 85. His play rack's an 87, his block shed's an 85, his finesse move's an 88, and his power move's an 82. So his finesse move with the chem can get threshold finesse, threshold play rack potentially, and he's fast. I love everything about this card. I am contemplating maybe powering him up with his base power up card all the way up to an 88, which would still be very, very useful. Next on this list is a guy that I personally wouldn't get for my own team, the way I like to play. But trust me, if he will, because of his price too, if this guy was eligible price, trust me, I would have this guy. With his, he has really cool abilities. 595, Kurt Warner, you have to mention him. He's the best card in the game on paper. Passing wise, he blows away pretty much every quarterback. You look at, he blows away Pat Mahomes. He hits the threshold and everything besides throw on the run. If you put the, if you put go deep on him, he hits every threshold besides throw on the run. And he's just really slow. But he does get hot route master, which allows him to hot route any receiver on the field, which is huge. It definitely is a big advantage for most people. That's the only reason I would have him, but at the price point, I'd much rather just wait for a Michael Vick to come out or a Randall Cunningham, uh, Donovan McNabb, Dante Culpepper. There's so many other guys that I'm waiting for, so that's going to be slightly mobile. Now, next on this list is another quarterback. And this guy, you guys all know. If I see this guy do a skate bar or something one more time in Weekend League, I'm going to freak out. Speaking of Weekend League, that was kind of botched for me because of that slow motion glitch I showed you guys. It kind of messed me up, gave me two losses. I didn't even finish Weekend League. I stayed up all night last night, by the way. If I look dead, you guys like to say that. I've been up all night. I've been up since 3 a.m. And it is now like 12 in the afternoon. I've been up all day, all night. Haven't really slept. Trying to finish Weekend League. I never got through it. I had 15 games to go. It was kind of rough. But anyways, back to it. Steve Young, he is the best quarterback in the game, in my opinion, for me. Best quarterback on paper is probably Kurt Warner. But Steve Young is faster than Mahomes, close enough in throw power, better short, better medium, tied deep, tied throw under pressure, similar throw on the run, and then better play action. So he hits the threshold for almost everything with proper chems and powered up, while Mahomes will not hit it for certain things. Now, the, what I really like that sets them apart is the speed and escape bars. And escape bars, if you don't know, it's like the, um, the Barry Allen, the Flash, Sonic the Hedgehog ability. Pretty much if anyone's about to sack you, just tap RT and you run away from them really fast, like Forrest Gump, and it's really annoying and frustrating, but it's definitely still there. now. Newest guy on this list is a guy that I love and that I have. Now, I have two recommendations for this guy. It's Patrick Willis. Obviously, not many people can afford him. So, if you can't afford him and you don't have that luxury like me, just get his power-up card. His power-up card is an 89 overall middle linebacker. Look how good his stats are. Just look, look at them closely. Do you really need to spend 1.7, 1.6 million coins when you could just get this power-up card for like 100k? The speed is one different. Excel is one different. Strength is one different. Tackling is three different. Play rec is two different, block shed is two different, hit power is five, and zone is one. The only card, the only difference that I could feel with this card is maybe the hit power. Other than that, the block shed, play rec, they're all within the threshold, so they're all similar. None of them are too different there. Like, they're, it's a very similar card for literally 116 of the price. I'd highly recommend you guys pick up this Patrick Willis if you can't afford this one. Now, next on the list is a hometown favorite on this channel. You guys already know. He's a Madden favorite right now. Marcus Allen. Marcus Allen, by far in my opinion, is the best running back in the game that's affordable. Now, Marcus Allen for 190K is a snag. I mean, I've seen him as low as 160, 150. This card right here, powered up, has done so... I, this card, this card's broken. He has no bones anymore. The amount I've ran him, I probably have like 2,000 career cards with him ready in this Madden. He's, the fa he's one of the fastest cards. He can get elusive, which is huge, because Bo Jackson cannot get elusive, which kind of it kind of bugs me. But at the same time, it's powered and bruiser and arm bar. That's, so, that's just as OP, so I don't really know how to feel about that. But Marcus Allen's definitely up there. Would I recommend you guys get him? Probably not. Now, the reason for that is, if you guys don't have, if you guys are on a budget, right, like me, if you guys like on a strict budget, like pretty much watching your coins or no money spent, you can't get him. Now, if you guys have loaded with coins, yeah, I'd probably get him. But the reason is that I know the season starts this week. So I know there's going to be an Ezekiel Elliott, uh, Damian Tomlinson, Barry Sanders, Saquon Barkley, Le'Veon Bell, David Johnson, Phillip Lindsay. There's going to be so many new running back cards coming out soon that I can't imagine Marcus Allen stays relevant for that long. Considering Dalvin Cook was almost equal with him. So I know that he's going to be overshadowed soon. So if you don't like Marcus Allen, I wouldn't shout out your coins for him. Now the last guy, just like Patrick Willis, has an alternate version of him that you can also get. So Bo Jackson, 91 overall running back. If you get, this card's awesome, right? Best, best card in the game most likely. 
but he's he's at number one for a reason. But the reason is that he's so expensive at one point, what, well, two million coins? He's at two million coins right now. This card's too expensive for the practical player. So I'd recommend his power up. His power up again is like 100k total to spend on everything. And he still gets like an 89 speed, still gets high stats. The only issue with Bo Jackson powered up is that he cannot get his third ability slot. And that's for anyone powered up. So the only thing you're missing out on him is the third power up. So for Willis, it doesn't matter because I don't really put abilities on my linebackers. So I don't really care if he can't get one. But Bo Jackson, that's kind of huge. That is why, although these are the two best cards in the game, if you can afford them, I would recommend if you guys can't afford them right now, just wait for the next big running back and don't don't kill it. Don't kill your coin stack going after these cards. If you guys, this is crazy, this price. But by default, he is the most overpowered card in the game. So he must be ranked one. Now, guys, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you made it this far, smack the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 250 likes. Comment down below if I missed anyone on the most overpowered list. And if you haven't already, go down below, smack the sub button. We're keep, let's keep grinding to 10K, boys. I greatly appreciate all the new supporters. Comment down below, say what's up. And if you haven't already, go over to Twitter at poodle underscore YT. Drop a follow. Hit me in the DMs if you guys need any help with Madden. And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.